Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your key commands in Logic Pro. Customizing your key commands in Logic is very easy to do and you can customize virtually every key command that there is with your own custom shortcut. I got a question from the In or In, which I believe is a band, uh, and they've asked, is there a two key zoom in or out like in Pro Tools uh, using R and T? Now, one of the things I actually like about Pro Tools is how easy it is to use for editing and tracking. In Pro Tools, if you turn on this option right here, this is called key focus mode, you can press R to zoom out and T to zoom in. And a lot of people who work in recording studios who may work primarily at, in Pro Tools at work, but then maybe come home and work in Logic, or maybe they use a combination of both DAWs, this is a shortcut I see swapped out and customized in Logic very often. So again, R just zooms out, T zooms in. So let's hop over to Logic, and we're going to set up Logic so it works exactly the same way. Okay, so we're here in Logic, and most of you guys already know the zoom shortcuts in Logic. So if you hold Command and press right, this will zoom in. If you hold Command and press left, the left arrow, it will zoom out. So zoom in, zoom out. The problem is this requires two hands to do. So with T and R, we can make this a heck of a lot easier. So to do this, you go up to Logic Pro, Key Commands, edit assignments, or you can just press command K. This will bring up your key commands dialog. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for the word zoom, and you'll see two options here, zoom horizontal out, zoom horizontal in. So I'm going to make zoom horizontal out R, and the way you do that is you select the key command, click learn by key label, and then press R. Now we're gonna have to replace this key command because R is record by default in Logic. And then zoom horizontal in, we're gonna do the same thing. Press T, we're gonna replace this as well. T by default opens up the tools menu in the tracks area. I hardly ever use that function anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. However, the record issue uh, may be an issue for some people. So let me search up record. I've already learned those two, but now we need to deal with the other two to kind of get those functions back. Record actually has another key command, and this is the asterisk on the number pad. So if you're using a full-size keyboard like me, you can just hit the asterisk on the number pad instead, and it'll, it'll record just like R normally does. So that's usually what I do there. You could create your own custom key command for record, but you're gonna find that just about every combination of a modifier key in R is taken, except for shift control option command R. So it's like four modifiers plus R's. Yeah, you can do that if you want to, but it's not really necessary if you have a full-size keyboard. But if you don't have a full-size keyboard, uh, you know, that's one way around it. Let me go to tool here. Let me search tool and then show tool mint menu. So this is normally T. Um, this is another one, like I don't use it that often, but if you really want to, you can use, you know, some uh, funky combination of modifiers uh, plus the letter T. Um, if I use R, R zooms out, T zooms in. So now I have single key zoom controls to zoom in and out in Logic Pro, just like in Pro Tools. And you can customize any key command you want in Logic. However, if you get to a point where you've customized a bunch of them and uh, maybe things are starting to get a bit mixed up and you wanna return back to the default settings, all you gotta do is click here and then select initialize all key commands. And this will uh, click don't save and this will set the uh, key commands back to their default setting. But this is not something you have to do in every Logic project. This will be uh, global across all of your projects uh, until you initialize it. So there you go. That's how you can change the Zoom controls in Logic Pro to be like Pro Tools. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.